Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're here that you clicked on this video. As you can probably tell from the title, it is going to be a very shocking, out of character type of video today. But I am very, very excited and thankful to be able to share this story of how God has helped me overcome my porn and masturbation addiction. So, <laughs> set it out there. I'm actually so thankful to be able to share this because originally i was gonna get my wisdom teeth out and then i wouldn't be able to speak for a few days and then i was gonna you know fly to germany and all of this and so i was really sad when my surgery you know was gonna happen but then it actually got postponed because there was like short staff so this is actually a blessing that i can be able to talk and share this video with you before um i leave some of you may have differing opinions on this subject so please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below um but this is just what my journey has been essentially i came across porn for the first time when i was pretty young i never seen this type of content before and it was hidden so i knew it was something secret a few years go by and i was at a time when basically nobody was home with me i was by myself um, my parents were out you know that kind of deal and so i just had a lot of opportunities to go online, right, and explore things on my own. Because I was so curious of what I'd seen like years prior, I began to look up like images of, you know, porn and then I basically opened a gate, right? <laughs> I opened the box and soon after the images became videos and you know, I would just go through all this content. I even like played, I don't know if you know, like naughty games, you know, like that was a thing. And so I was like, wow, I was young, you know, I was very young, but I was like, engrossed in this eventually all that porn watching kind of led me to find out what masturbation was and so that was another box on its own right and so like now suddenly it wasn't just porn watching it was porn plus masturbation so it was like two acts together but since i was little i'd always considered myself a christian but i think this was something that I willingly did to separate myself from God and I didn't like characterize it as that when I was younger and doing it but I realize now how much that separated me from being wanting to be closer to God because I, I always felt like this was a source of shame for me um, I, I went to church every Sunday and I maybe sometimes I would hear sermons about porn but very little very little to begin with and if they were about porn it was more directed towards the boys so i'm not blaming i don't want to blame anybody or any organization or any church for this but i think it's just like i think that's just like a, a a stereotype that a lot of people right like assume about porn and masturbation is that it's a it's a primarily uh guy thing and maybe the statistics are true on that but i'm but i think that you know lack of awareness or, or lack lack of exposure of porn and masturbation as it pertains to girls really prevented me from wanting to speak out or wanting to reach out or wanting to seek help. Fast forward to sophomore year of college, I was asked by my small group leader to share my testimony. And at first I was, you know, writing down my script, like, okay, I'm gonna talk about, you know, my family issues, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh yeah, how I grew as a Christian, blah, blah, blah. But I was missing a huge part of my life. And that was my porn and masturbation addiction. Like I, I purposefully, right, like left that out because I didn't want to share that part of myself. And I'm not, and I want to like say that you don't have to be, feel pressure to share anything you don't want to share. But I think at that time it was more of myself. It was myself not wanting to be perceived as um, unlikable or gross or fake Christian, like things like that. I didn't want to be, be perceived negatively by other people and so i like left that part out but it was definitely a spirit because again i could never do this on my own um who encouraged me like really pulled on my heartstrings like really did to include that part into my testimony and so like god helped me and i, I was able to share my testimony my full honest testimony including the you know the, the porn and masturbation things with my small group. I think I'd always heard, you know, like God uses the bad for good or like God is the light. And like, I, I never really understood until after I shared this 
that was a time I realized that the devil, Satan, uses these things against us, uses them to shame us or to feel like we can't bring it up to the light. Um, it could be different, right? For you, it might not be porn or masturbation, it might be other things, right? But I think like he, I realized he purposely uses these things to make us feel like we're trapped in it and that we can't be saved anymore or that, you know, we're, we are damaged goods or that we can never really be loved um, by God because we have the sin or sins that we're dealing with and that they become addictions. God can do anything and, and it just like amazes me how God was able to transform like me as someone who was a huge people pleaser like I still struggle with that sometimes right like huge people pleaser uh, would never want to be perceived in any sort of negative way and suddenly encouraging me and, and reminding me that like I am loved by him and that he does forgive and that he he is light and that, and that he can bring these sins out of the darkness, put them to light, and overcome the devil. Later on, I think it was like junior year or something, I forgot, I was able to share the same testimony with my entire fellowship and I think it just felt so freeing to know that like the devil really has no hold on us with God on our side. But the story does not end here. So after I shared my testimony with my fellowship, I felt like, wow, like this is done. Like I've overcome the battle and I didn't watch porn or masturbate for like a few months, but, 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 but I did relapse in a way, right? If that's the word that you can say for this. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I did relapse and I felt like so defeated, especially I felt so hypocritical that I had shared this stuff with my fellowship, but then fell back into the same sin. Once I fell back into the same sin, it was so easy for me just to think, okay, well, I already screwed up. Right? Like, I already screwed up and why not just keep, like, I kind of just, like, I can't believe I screwed up. Even after that big, like, spiritual high it felt like for me, I just kept watching porn and masturbating for, like, another few months just because, like, I felt so defeated. Now looking back, I realized there were two main things that caused this to happen. The first one was not seeking accountability or help for this. I essentially just share my story and like that was it you know I just like <laughs> you know what I mean like I it's like for any type of issue for any type of sin or any type of like thing that you're struggling with you it's, it's so important and I, I realize this now and I should have done this before like you seek accountability have an accountability partner so essentially I was relying on my own strength and I wasn't even going back to the bible and so I was relying on my own strength not even God's strength and so how can you, how could I, how could I ever expect it for me to overcome this just on my own? Like, pfft, no, no. Now I know, like, no way, no way. I wasn't even relying on the Bible. I wasn't relying on God. I wasn't praying to him about this. I was just like, I just felt like I did this, right? Like I overcame this. And the second thing I did wrong was putting myself in the center of it instead of God. Honestly speaking, the reason why I stopped watching porn and masturbating at this time was because it made me feel bad it made me feel shameful um i didn't quite understand at that time like how much it hurts god and how god how god is the one that we should strive to be more like it was a me thing it was a me thing and not a god thing fast forward to a couple of months into this past summer so summer of 2022 i was alone in my like apartment right and so i i was working i was doing an internship but i had a lot of free time I don't know, maybe it was the boredom, so thank goodness I was bored, right? <laughs> that finally led me to become curious about God and Christianity. I did rely on God and that I do believe, or did believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but I never actually read the Bible. <laughs> so this past summer was the first time I just like opened the Bible. I think it was like to a random chapter um, or book in the New Testament. And I just started to read the Bible, just like curiosity. and my goodness gracious how that changed me and then i began to actively look up like christian content on youtube um questions about the bible you know questions about god i was i was questioning things and, and not because i didn't believe but because i wanted to further my belief even more there were so many questions i had but i didn't like take time to investigate further just because i was lazy and i didn't want to learn and i just kind of like 
blindly went with it and so with anything right you want to do your research and you want to learn more and more and more and so like by reading the bible and like looking online and 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 watching you know youtube videos of people debating religious topics religious questions i became more and more engrossed and like i don't know i just felt refreshed and i felt excited to learn more and so by reading the bible i got more and more insight of like who god really is and why he does the things he does i became more 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 and more engrossed in him and i think because of that there was just one day when i was just like over it like i don't know how to describe it other than i was like over over this sin that i was dealing with still like i was i was sad i was sad that i was doing it because as i was learning more about god i realized he has better plans for us we as his children as humans we have so much more potential than to be sucked into the sin to be sucked into his addiction and let the devil hold this against us so instead of putting myself in the middle of it it became god as i was reading the bible and learning more about him i wanted to be closer to him i wanted to be more like him to be more like him i realized like yeah i i can overcome this and i want to it was a desire to overcome it after that realization that one night i was like wow i'm i'm actually over it and so <laughs> i just stopped it was god's grace of course because i would never have been able to have the strength to do that thank you god so much for reminding me you know that it's not about me <laughs> it's not about me it's about him and so i think that really like you know like turned a switch in my brain and and i haven't you know had a desire to watch porn or masturbate since because i know how much it hurts god more of the story the bible <laughs> the bible has like literally transformed me into a completely new person so i encourage you just if you have a bible nearby or online or on an app just please just like start reading just for fun like i i cannot tell you how much your life will transform because of reading the bible long story short it is life-changing and it helped me overcome my porn and masturbation addiction but of course this overcoming is not because of me but it's because of god so i i need to make sure that i am consistently praying about my temptations i'm consistently praying that he continues to support me and, and encourage me to read the bible and so i don't fall back into that same sin but god is great god is powerful and like he has changed me in so many ways and i know he can change you too so don't feel that you are too this or that or you know unlovable or too broken or too gross to be loved by god that is false that 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 is a lie you are loved and you are already loved you're already loved by god and you can always oh, i don't know how to explain it in words oh my goodness but you are already loved you are his child and you can learn more about him and you can accept him as your savior and it's just like dang like okay i'm this video is going on for too long but yeah thank you guys so much for listening to this video please feel free to share your thoughts share oh man i'm just so happy you're here and you're listening and i hope you're doing well and you have a great day and that you can try reading the bible and experiencing god for yourself too okay all right bye see you in my next video Peace.